衣服质量真不错啊。看到孩子手里拿了毛绒玩具了吗？孩子玩得很开心，但是在睡觉之前，孩子就把这个娃娃放到了储藏室里，然后发生的事情就有一些令人无法想象了。这娃娃既然自己站起来了，看来这娃娃不能再给孩子玩了。发布影片的 Reddit 用户声称，这是发生在他老家哥伦比亚的一起诡异事件。这起事件导致当事人直接在医院里缝了二十四针。具体是怎么回事呢？让我们来看看原片吧。这个男子在进入这扇门以后，突然被一股强大的力量给击飞了出来。就像我们刚才说的，这名男子虽然没有生命危险，但是受伤确实不轻，也幸好有邻居帮了他一把。但令人好奇的是，有人检查了当时的现场，却毫无收获，因为那股力量根本就查不到它的来源。据说这是在二零零八年一家公司的监控拍到的画面这明显是在模仿贞子啊！这个男人的行为好奇怪啊，为什么会这样呢？这个奇怪的生物据说是在阿根廷发现的，从体型上来看，很像是小狗，可能是基因突变导致它变成了这个样子吧。
，修路的师傅当时可能十分的绝望吧。这是在干什么呢？虽然没见过朱尚书，但这回总算是见过朱尚强了。接下来是一个香蕉大道的故事，你没听错，就是香蕉大道。这位师傅右眼站岗，左眼放哨，在回家的路上突然发现，邻居家的门口放着一串香蕉。但是他抬头一看，就发现邻居家的门口安装了监控。这位师傅盯着监控看了一会儿，灵机一动，想到了一个完美的计划。师傅把香蕉放在了一边。没一会儿的功夫，师傅手拿墨镜，悄悄的又摸了上来。本想着可以把香蕉拿走了，但是他突然发现墨镜竟然没带，那不能无功而返啊！贼不走空，听过吗？又过了一会儿，这位师傅脱掉了自己的上衣，带着墨镜就上来了。但是你这墨镜，倒是戴到眼睛上啊！这次又是无功而返。但是这位师傅并不打算放弃，再次整理了装备以后，师傅再次出现在了监控画面里。只不过他没有选择拿走香蕉，他拿起了钳子，准备把监控的线给掐断。不过呢，线路太过凌乱，师傅也不是电工，又是无功而返了一次。而最后一次，这位师傅终于想明白了，把监控转过去不就得了吗？师傅不知道从哪儿搬来了一块大石头，垫着脚开始转动监控，但他万万没想到，这监控还能自己再转回来。估计最后偷香蕉的计划应该是失败了吧。嗯、接下来的也是关于刚刚那位师傅同行的影片，但是他的手法。就比师傅利索多了。这是一所学校里拍摄的片段。据说这个小伙子偷偷溜进了女生寝室，然后被女生寝室的管理人员关在了里面。他去女生寝室干什么呢？在二零一八年，一位 Reddit 用户在北威尔士购买了一套房子。这栋房子始建于一八五零年，是一栋蛮久的房子了。而在几年后，这位屋主在整理花园的时候，突然挖到了一个很硬的东西，他感到很好奇，就接着挖。最后，一口井展示在了他的面前，井上有盖子，他试图打开盖子，而接下来发生的事情。屋主就有些震惊了。这井里面，好像传来了人的叫声啊！影片到这里就结束了，真的很想知道，这井里面到底有什么？该视频是在印度的班加罗尔南迪山拍摄的，这怎么看都像是一个人悬浮在空中啊，不会是真的吧？
，如果不是监控拍下来，谁会相信鬼魂还喜欢玩台球啊？没准这个鬼魂生前还是个职业选手呢。据说这是一个驱魔过程的实录影片，有些恐怖，请小心观看。Saw like a light over here. It was like a glowing ball of light. It just floated by her mirror. Are you standing over by your mirror? I think I just seen you. I'm gonna try to take a bunch of pictures. Rebecca, are you here with me? My eyes are playing tricks on me, but I keep seeing something in the mirror. You don't have to be shy, okay? Whoa, whoa! That was another anomaly. Oh my God! It was like in the mirror. Are you looking into your mirror right now, Rebecca? Oh my goodness! It is suddenly cold in here. I am getting chills all over my body. <gasps> What was that? What was that? Oh my God! She freaking looked at me through the mirror. I just saw her face. Oh my God, am I going crazy? I literally just saw her face in the mirror, and it's gonna be impossible to see. I have to go down here. My camera light is too bright. 这是伊恩在二零二四年七月的一次超载调查，调查的地点是马尔文庄园。这座庄园最初建于一八七零年，那时候它还是一座公路旅馆。后来这座建筑还拥有了许多的新身份。比如疗养院，比如护理机构，而在这期间呢，这里死过很多的人，这也导致了这座建筑
，直到今天都不是很太平，经常会有鬼魂出没，并且他们还会攻击人类。Really don't like this feeling. I can feel your presence, but I'm not afraid. So if you charge at me, just know I'm not gonna run. There's his room. At least they think it's his room. Room two. That's where that deranged patient used to chase nurses, and that's why they think that that might be him. Coming up to your room, okay? Don't be alarmed. Ooh, what is that? What is that? I keep hearing like movement in there. I can hear you in there. Come on out. <gasps> oh my God! That door just partially opened. <gasps> Hello? Who's in here? This room's locked. I can't even go in there. Why would they lock it? To keep him in there? Maybe I can look through the crack. The crack of the door. Hello? Anyone in here? It just sounded like a breath. It just sounded like a breath. Oh God! Oh! F oh my! Oh my God! Oh! Oh! oh fuck! Ah! Oh, Get hurt! Oh! Oh! Oh God! Oh God! Get me out of here! Oh, I felt something slam that door on me. Holy shit. I don't know how much more of this here. It's coming after me. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh f***, oh f***. I'm out of here. I'm done for the night. I can't take this. I can't take it. 好像有什么东西入侵到了这片区域啊！因很聪明，他迅速离开了这里，不然后面发生危险的事情，那可就不划算了。好吧，恐怖的时间总是短暂的，我们的节目就在这里跟大家说再见了。这里是飞鸿禁地，如果你喜欢这个频道，请点击订阅，打开小铃铛。让我们在以后的日子里一起探索这个未知的世界。黎明将至，我们午夜再见。